Greetings Metal Community, it's Roger uh, back uh, with another collection update, it's uh, CDs as promised, I have a big stack of CDs to show so I'm not gonna dwell any longer, I'll just get right into the in the background, we will be playing um, Polluted Inheritance, um, Into Darkness, this is their third album from um, 2001 I would say. I think so. Uh, yeah, I've shown, uh, you know, they have reissued the two first albums um, quite recently, uh, which are pretty great. Uh, this is the third and most kind of technical, progressive, not so... Um, yeah, it's kind of just a natural pro progression from the second album. Um, and yeah, great, great album. I've never heard this before. and kind of new of the two first albums but I uh, never bothered listening to this but uh, yeah after the reissues of the vinyl of the two first I uh, went back and uh, checked out the old third album and it was fucking great as well so um, I don't know if you can hear it but uh, it's way more technical than the first album then uh, one that I got from uh, Simon aka Pieface he uh, wrote me a message around Christmas and said he had bought a CD for me, uh, Dark Millennium, Assure the Celestial Burden. This is their first album from um, 1992. This is the original CD. Uh, he had watched my video and I said that this was the only one that I was missing and um, he kindly enough uh, bought it for me. I actually bought this twice and uh, not received it because of, uh, yeah, got lost in the mail. So, uh, thank you very much, Simon. This is uh, very much appreciated. And um, this is a great album. I have forgotten how good this stuff was. Um, kind of, uh, I said, kind of very, for that time, very progressive, um, very kind of variated in styles. There are some. Actually, there are violence, kind of a death doom parts here, and, and uh, yeah, a lot of variation in the music. The, the vocals are pretty light, um, so if you are kind of getting into death metal, Dark Millennium could, could be a, a nice entry, but it's kind of a bit complex music, so you need to like progressive and, and kind of, it's, it's very interesting. So um, again, thank you very much, Simon. Yeah, I picked up, uh, as I said, uh, Werewolves was one of the albums that I didn't pick up uh, last year because of the vinyl prices and stuff like that. Uh, picked up um, all three Werewolves CDs on the Diggy Pack. Um, this is the first one from 2020. And then the 2021 album and then the 2022 album, all out on prosthetic records. Um, the new one is called, the newest one is from uh, the Cave to the Grave. Um, they are kind of a technical, and I wouldn't say brutal death metal, but they do have kind of a, a, a viciousness about them, which is cool. Still like this album from 2021, a little bit better than the newest one, but I have listened more to this one. And um, But it's quality stuff. I have not listened to the first album yet. Uh, I have to admit, but um, I'm pretty sure it's, it's cool, but uh, you know, three albums in three years, it's kind of um, dangerous uh, to do that, but uh, yeah, if you like technical death metal uh, with some kind of, this album especially have kind of more of an evil feel to them, more kind of a blackened uh, tendencies, but uh, yeah, I'm sure Werewolf are pretty well known. And I picked up the new um, Alters of Blaze uh, from uh, Czechia, I would say. Uh, there's uh, at least one member from Heaving Earth on this, and this is kind of a technical black and death metal. Um, you could always say technical black metal, but uh, it's kind of, they do have a death metal touch to them as well. And you know, is there anything that's called technical black metal? So uh, let's call it technical uh, black and death metal and uh, 
pretty intense. Uh, you have to be moved for uh, some uh, blast beats and um, a lot of blast beats, and uh, it's pretty, pretty fast album, uh, but a great one. Um, I really enjoy it, but you have to be in the mood for some really, uh, yeah, speedy stuff. Then I picked up to um, when we are talking about Australian death metal, Misery. Yeah, different logos. You say, yeah, I don't know why uh, this has a different logo, but uh, this is their third album. I think the uh, first album from '93 is pretty well known, um, a Necessary for Evil or something. Um, this is their latest from 2006, and I do think this is around 2000, 2001. Uh, pretty great uh, death metal in the vein of. Um, yeah, slightly brutality and mortis cult in that way. Uh, I was very surprised uh, on how good uh, both of these were. I have only had the two first albums in my collection before, but I'm very happy to pick them up. And if you like the early Misery, you should uh, pick up these two as well because they are they are great. Then we have uh, Marsh uh, Funeb uh, into the arms of darkness. Uh, death Doom, Melodic Death Doom from, uh, I was going to say Belgium, but I'm not sure. It doesn't matter, uh, kind of just the basic booklets, long songs, uh, but if you like Melodic Death Doom, um, this, is, uh, this is solid stuff. I always wanted to pick up a, a CD buy them and I might pick up more of them because uh, yeah this was good good stuff picked up the uh, yeah this was the only Crusher uh, album I didn't have uh, Crusher was a death uh, grind and, uh, band from Czechia I think uh, this is too grindy for me in a way but uh, cool to have it in the collection this is an you know, an original I picked up for a cheap price, so um, just to kind of complete my Crusher collection. But yeah, this uh, I like the two first are pretty good. Uh, they are still grindy, but this is kind of too too grindy for me. Crypt of uh, Kerberos uh, from Sweden. This is uh, one of the many uh, demo collection and EP. I do have uh, most of this on another. But uh, this has this is a couple of songs that's not on the other collection I have, and the other collection has uh, seven songs that's not on this. So yeah, just cool to have both of them. Uh, this contains the kind of EP that they released five six years ago, so that's cool to have on CD as well because that's a single. But yeah, Crypto Kerberos, uh, excellent Death Doom, and uh, if you're going into this band and uh, this is, uh, I mean, the demo stuff is um, killer. Uh, it's better than the uh, Words of Myths album um, overall. So um, cool to have it. Also picked up the first Strigoi album, um, Abandon All Fate. Uh, it was cheap. Uh, never kind of gotten into this band, but I saw a lot of people showing the, uh, or several people showed the new the album that came out last year on, on their lists and so I finally picked it up I mean I, I didn't pay much for it I do like the uh, kind of Paradise Lost music on here but when they grind uh, as I said I'm not a big fan of grind and that kind of puts me a little bit off but overall it's it's a it's a good album but i um, not a big fan but I will check out the new one for sure then we have uh, Pathogen from uh, Philippines with uh, Morib yeah. Moribund Manifesto. This is just a uh, kind of blasty uh, old school death metal. They have been around for a long, long time. This is, I think, their seventh album. I do have all the full lengths, and this is just kind of meat and potato brutal death metal but uh, they do it very well so uh, 
yeah, this came out last year through Old Temple. But uh, yeah, good release. And another of these uh, collections with, uh, you know, one album and several demo. Uh, Devoid or Devoid. I would say they, I don't remember when they, where they are from, but uh, they could gamble on US, but uh, yeah. First album is kind of pretty basic 90, 91 death metal US style. Uh, the demos from the 90s, more kind of slightly more trashy, but the good stuff here is the three songs on the promotion from um, 92. It's, it's way more technical and progressive and uh, pretty good, but overall this is a, a great compilation with the, with the first album. Um, old school um, US death metal and as I said the promo stuff is uh, more technical. Uh, then another band from Czechia, pretty sure a lot of the underground knowers know of Apoplexy. Um, this is the Tears of the Unborn, I do have that on vinyl, but um, I picked up this because this has the first self-released um, album called uh, something easy as Dysmorphophobia. Dysmorphophobia, uh, yeah, that sounds terrible. Sorry about that, but um, it's a tongue twister. And uh, if if you don't know Apoplexy, it's kind of a uh, yeah, it's death metal with a lot of, of um, kind of leaps and uh, melody lines on them. Um, um, not like they overdoing it. It's not, it's not like the Gothenburg um, Swedish uh, melodic death metal, but uh, just a, a, a lot of melody lines going in and. Pretty cool uh, stuff. It's it doesn't sound like anybody else. Everybody else did back in the days, and um, it's very cool to have the first um, self release as well. It's it's a much raw uh, kind of yeah. You you hear that they haven't been uh, practicing as hard on the first one that's, that they had on this one, but uh, uh, very cool. Uh, kind of separates themselves from uh, from the others with, with the kind of melody lines. They also pick up uh, these two uh, well-known uh, compilations. I do have uh, th three, four and five on CD before, so I just wanted one and two. That is just the beginning. Found a seller who had them for cheap, so uh, picked them up. Then we have the new Excarnium uh, from um, Chile, I think. Uh, more US death metal sounding than the rest of the Chilean stuff. Uh, pretty good. I still prefer the album that came out. Uh, was that back in 16? Uh, I don't remember the title. Uh, that was kind of more evil sounding. This is just uh, quality uh, death metal, no nonsense. Um, US style. They don't have that kind of. Um, and you know, uh, these terrible slip cases with the same artwork is totally unnecessary. Yeah, with me and labels, this is uh, the uh, Yaneto release from Brazil. Or is it Xonium from Brazil? Maybe. Uh, maybe I was wrong about Chile, but uh, it might be Brazil, but uh, great. Uh, you know, US, more more than US uh, death metal, I would say. Uh, beyond belief, the demos. Uh, everybody knows Rave in the Abyss and stuff like that. You know, mid paced, slow death metal from the Netherlands. Uh, yeah, cool collection, demo collection. Uh, sounds pretty good. So, uh, you know what you get with Beyond Belief. Also picked up uh, the uh, Majestic Dissolve by Conjureth. Did not uh, like this as much as the um, EPs. I think the EPs are better than this one, but uh, 
cool to have and they have a new album coming out now so I, I just picked it up uh, again it was uh, not very expensive so um, Majestic Dissolve by uh, Conjurate uh, US death metal I think most of you know about this band uh, one album that I really didn't uh, kind of get any hold of it's on uh, with Transcend Transcendental Mastery. This is a Greek black metal band, but they does they do not sound Greek at all. Um, I kind of have problem placing them, and it's, it's kind of blasty, a little bit hectical black metal. Um, I have listened to this quite uh, sometimes, but I I, I really don't. Um, it doesn't grab me that much, but uh, I won't say it's bad. It's just not for me. Picked up the new uh, Kingdom uh, Polish death metal again, uh, pretty blasty, evil sounding um, uh, death metal from Poland, uh, kind of blackened uh, in a way. Uh, a lot of kind of gravity uh, snare uh, drum action going on here. Uh, pretty good stuff. Uh, I like uh, Kingdom. They have, uh, they don't sound that Polish, but um, but still kind of. Um, uh, it's not very technical, but it's it's uh, variated in tempo. Uh, as I said it's a lot of gravity blast on the snare. Uh, the the downside by this is kind of the kick drums are very weak. Um, they don't have uh, enough power. Especially when they play the uh, more mid-tempo uh, uh, death metal, the drum sound kind of falls through, which is a shame because this is a a, a re re really good album. But um, but kind of the drum production on it is kind of letting the whole album down. Um, but uh, if you like the earlier Kingdom, you will like this for sure. I mean, this is um, probably the best album. Uh, if I compare it to the previous one, it's. It's a lot of the same, but um, with the with a better drum production on it, I'm sure it would be higher up on the list. And I have uh, four CDs that I picked up from Hong Kwan Wan Kwan Records in China. It was uh, part of the tapes that I showed, um, yeah, months ago or something. Um, this is uh, Morticius from US. Um, Demos from 1990 and 89 and some live recordings. Uh, 1990 demo is pretty good, pretty good sounding. Uh, just again meat and potato death metal, there's nothing special about it. The 89 demo is pretty bad sound on. Uh, light tracks are okay sounding for that time, but it's kind of, yeah. Do you, do you need this? It's up to you. I like this demo stuff, so uh, yeah. One that I wasn't so keen on is Ashes uh, in the Abyss of Darkness. Again, one Kwan record, uh, Polish um, in the Abyss of Darkness and uh, this cover. I don't know. Um, it's it's very basic um, kind of. The solos here are terrible. I mean, but you have to. To give them credit for some, uh, I don't know if that shows very well, but uh, they do have some quality moustaches. That's kind of the best thing I can say about this uh, release. But um, I mean, the music is pretty good in general. It's just that they try to create some solos or leads that are pretty juvenile in, in a way and uh, kind of destroys a, a okay album. And, but uh, yeah. This is not a album that I will play again, I'm sure. I've listened to this uh, three or four times, but um, yeah, there's nothing much there. Uh, one that I did uh, kind of uh, didn't like first I heard it is Hatred with uh, Days of Darkness. And you can see by the cool picture that they are some kind of um, blackened uh, theme going on there. This is kind of death thrash, I would say. Uh, the vocals are weird. Uh, 
kind of uh, Chuck Schrödinger on on the Sound of Perseverance, but even more uh, kind of strained strained and out and and yeah, it's a bit, little bit too high in the production as well. Um, but there is a, co- a couple of cool songs here, but um, uh, yeah, there's uh, the main riff on Song Seven is uh, fucking great, uh, but I'm pretty sure there's another band that played that riffs. Uh, uh, in a song, I just can't remember it because I knew that riff instantly when I heard this, and I never heard this band before. Uh, really cool, cool riff, and also uh, kind of the opening riff of this last second to last song is, uh, yeah, Root has done that riff as well. So, um, so they have made may have steal some uh, some stuff, but um, it kind of grew on me. It's not fantastic, but uh, it's cool to have in the collection. And the last one is the uh, Cruentus, When the World Ends to Be. Uh, do you think they are an Italian band? Kind of technical trash in a way. And there's some pretty good stuff on here. Uh, it's just um, kind of a little bit too soon. Uh, they kind of uh, I feel that they don't have the total abilities to play what they are trying to at some points. Uh, and also the kind of vocals change a little bit throughout the record. Starts very growly but turns into more um, yeah, clean thrash vocals and also the songs are kind of going towards thrash in the end. Uh, so it's a kind of a weird album but there's a lot of cool riffs here and a lot of good ideas. Uh, so this is kind of a, a very interesting listen, but um, yeah, I don't know if they've done anything after this, but I will for sure check it out because uh, yeah, there, there's some some uh, good potential on this one. Yeah, so that was uh, all I uh, had for this one, and it's way too long, so um, done with that. Uh, there will be other videos coming up. Uh, that will not be collection videos, so. Um, just wait and see what I have in the store for you, but um, have a great weekend or whenever you see this. Uh, thanks as always for watching and subscribing, and uh, be sure.